That's just kind of from. They said there ain't gonna be no summer events. How is that possible? Yeah, you know, no, I'm just being no way over. You don't think they better do none of that? Like all that stuff. However, it's still the parents, it's up to the parents to make sure that their child is up at the laptop ready right. for their meeting with their teacher in the morning. Man, my daughter, I swear, last week, was it last week? It might have been. But she was up bright and early, ready for her Skype meeting with her class and her teacher. She was like, Dad, why was the only one in the meeting from my sixth period? I said, what? Yeah. The only one? Everybody else TikToking. TikToking or sleep or like that's a damn shame, fam. So you're right. You bring this up the protect the teachers. If it's up to us. Badass kids throwing shit at you no more. A, if, if, if it's up, but it's a, if it's know? up to the parents though, you could just that's an example of what I'm trying to say is that kids ain't gonna learn shit. Right, not a team, but if, only if what it's you up teach to the them. parents. You know, so they're gonna learn exactly what you know now. So teach them how to get some money, teach them how to work, balance some shit. That's a good question, man. You what do what parents know, though? Right. They ain't what do these none of them parents know, man? I mean, shit. <laughs> shit. I uh, mean, you know, let's, let's we welcome everybody back to the J-Bat Show. Right. This is J-Bat Show. This is actually show 65. Welcome back. Hmm. Want to shout out to everybody that's listening on Anchor, everybody on Spotify, all the YouTube listeners and watchers. Make sure y'all subscribe, comment, share, all that good shit. Um, we got... B Hill in the building. Hey. And the homie D Hawk has joined us for the pandemic episode. Once again, <laughs> we got the we got the social distancing halfway in effect. We ain't six feet apart. We maybe like maybe two or three. Call it a good three. But we got the lights all on deck. We got the hand sanitizer on deck. Sure. And ain't nobody coughing. We straight, right? I think I'm good. You straight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a little whimper of a cough. So I, ain't, I ain't worried about it. There ain't no particles coming from that shit. Nigga, cough, <laughs> right. cough is a cough. That's, man. that's, that's a little reefer wheeze. wheezing. No, cough but, is a cough. but what about niggas who clear their throat? You looking sideways and somebody is just clearing their throat. I can't clear my throat no more. You know, I just let it be. <clears throat> right here. Is it <clears throat> I'm allowed? I'm suspicious, but you know, let you have it your way. You know what I mean? I just did it like a couple times. It, it, just in case y'all feel like, oh, shit. Right, in your drink. Damn. Now you got a Lysol edges. My drink is Rona Free. Lysol rim. It's Rona Free. Nigga, three, nigga, three weeks ago, nigga, you sneezed, and nigga said, bless you. Now, nigga, be like, go on with that shit. Right, right. So, <laughs> head on out the room. I was I was literally thinking, like, when is that going to stop? Like, like when are when is you? everybody going to feel comfortable coughing? Are you? 
You know what I'm saying? Like I'm serious. Okay. Like people okay. really feel like ashamed when yeah, they right, cough or, hold that or like they got a sneeze. It's like, it's like it's like a nigga rather fart now. Right, you go ahead and <laughs> fart. Be all right. Thank you, thank you. That's the way would it put. You could Do you let us silent. farts instead of coughs these days. I think everybody would agree to a <laughs> yes on that one, brother. Wow. That's crazy. You would rather have some offensive shit creep up your nostrils. You can have allergies, man. And if your mouth open, them fart particles is fall falling in your mouth, but. The nigga yeah. can't cough or sneeze. It was funny because I, when I came to the restaurant to get some food, <laughs> as soon as I got out the car, I sneezed. <laughs> and I'm like, man, I'm so glad I did that down. shit in the car but, or before I came to the right. restaurant. You definitely look Niggas really would have been looking at me real strange. Right. Shit. But that's a shame, man. It nah. shouldn't be like that. You got to mix that alcohol with the sanitizer. That's a skit. Y'all yeah. think it's gonna go back to normal, man? It's like anybody gonna be like no. ashamed to just do normal bodily no. functions, man? No. I it's, mean, it, maybe three, four, or five years. What? Yeah. That's this is before you feel comfortable doing long. a big kick oh, in. No. First of all, how cautious? Let your guard down. Long. No, let your guard back down. It's about right. I say niggas right. wasn't trusting niggas already. No, but now all, it's just people in general. No, but, no, but I'm saying our trust issue in in America, in the world, was right. already horrible. Right. Now to go back, you know, you already saying you you got issues with 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 jobs that's not that's not doing what what their what their people is requesting severance pay or this or that or sending me to work, and you say or a lot of people saying we should have hazardous pay. So now it's a it's a mistrust in. The jobs now, right? You feel me? You know, that's, now that, yeah, that's it's crazy. like, well, shit. If I've been homeschooling my kids now, fucking my now you can, for it. yeah. Now you can stay home. It, it's like it's exposed. It's just like a relationship after something major happened. That relationship ain't gonna be back to what it used to be. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Damn, man, niggas is got in a fucked up relationship with society right now. Like, right. <laughs> we real. in like a, we that's estranged real. from society. And it, it, it should have been when you we talk, separated. When that's you talk real. about the higher power, I think it's a message from him. Like, hey, calm down. We need to slow down a little. We bit. need to slow down. Because like, this is here, you know, I believe in Europe. Don't they take it like one of your people? They Europe, take a month off every China? year. Yeah, they they take. Yeah. They just stop everybody. India? Slow the fuck down. And chill. Y yeah, stay home. That's um, but that's kind of ironic that you say that because one of the first places hit outside of China was Italy, and Italy is one of them places yeah. that has those rules that you was just talking right. about, where they just believe in in people having their off yeah. days. I believe Italy so, is, or somewhere so, around that region. So before you before you got here, man, him was talking about mental health. I'm coming out with my book and all of that, and that's that's. When you hear different motivational speakers or rap, get this money while you can. Get I don't believe in them. I believe in nigga chill. Take a nap. Nigga, I'm a yeah, napper. Relax. Chill the <laughs> fuck relax, chill out. Down. Recharge your Recharge battery. Take my YOLO and get it. Yeah. Early bird gets the worm. Stay grinding. Stay grinding. Stay grinding. Get your money enough. Live comfortable yeah, chill. and chill your ass yeah. the fuck out. Because I don't I don't think I told my cousin, man, if Kevin Hart, somebody major call me. I probably do, but I wouldn't feel comfortable going out on the road where, where I'm at in here. Um, I'm 44. I, I'm not about to hit no stage in, in four hours, get up and do a podcast in another four hours. No, bro. Right. I need me a nap. Yo, yo. <laughs> you, I, I'm a firm believer. That's why I still no, look I 17. Yeah. 37 coming in a couple of months. Well, I take do. naps. Joke, yep. I believe in getting them in. Believe it. Water, water, water. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And sleep. Yeah. 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 And I, 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 I feel like I'm good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got what I got in yeah. life. Well, I need shit. So, you know, it's like I'm take a all motherfucking about, hey, break. This, I'm about this. Right, turn the fuck down. No, you get you need to take that time. Yeah, right. Take, but, turn the fuck down. Everybody, everybody do that in a different way. Everybody's therapy is different. Everybody therapy mm -hmm. different. Everybody. Yeah. Some people go golf. Some yeah. people go drink. Some people get a massage. Some people go out of town. Some people help the community. Helping the community. Some people is my podcast. Reward. This is my fucking therapy right here. Yeah, everybody have a different. I need you this. know what I'm saying? Some people jack I, off. Right. I like binge watching shows and smoking. Jacking weed. Jacking off is good too. Right. That might be an essential. A little rub and tug ain't never gonna hurt nobody. Yeah, that might definitely be essential, man. Right, like, safe sex. So I remember my uncle, man. My uncle always was like tattled to ear, like you know, he told my mother everything. You know what I'm saying? And one time I was in the attic, and I know he saw me jacking off. 
I know he's uh, uh, right. He crept up the steps. He, no, I just I'm like, man, he just went back down. So like thirty years, I like man, uh, man, you tell my mother everything. Why don't you never tell her you call me jacking off in the attic? He like, cause I was on my way up there do the same thing. Nigga, <laughs> 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 I was on my you way. You beat up me to the spot. Uh, that was the jack off yeah. area. You beat me to the designated <laughs> yeah, jerk beat spot. Me, you little motherfucker. Like, that's right. Uh, that's nasty. I was wrong, nigga. Really? <laughs> put the towel down before so, they put your wrong so ass in the seat. So real talk, I told. And while we talk about therapy, I told my aunt that. I think she caught she caught my my cousin jacking off, and I said if that's the way that he relieve himself to not gork over a girl, doing something stupid over a girl, and if that's the way I'm all I'm all about masturbation, I'm all about masturbation will keep so you from cheating. Right, I'm is saying. that is that well? Can I get actually a lot of people? No? A lot of people say masturbation will not just. You said masturbation. Uh, but it it say it can separate it too because now you're not even looking at at your wife. Because now you done burst you down already and took the yeah. top part off. Yeah. Now you're like it is what it is. Then fuck it, you know what I'm saying. So like that's how I put it. Whether you beat after your nut, you kind of like just like oh, I'm good now. Because you because you, know you released it. You, you released release your stress iron. out already to all that little sex you would have did to try to get the pussy. You ain't gonna do it no more. Like, now you stay home, baby. Issues. Right, right, right. Oh, it's cool. You don't wanna fuck? It's cool. No. I got a good old good old. Uh, uh, Good porn hub video. I to mean, watch. A great. <laughs> no, you ain't been having sex anyway. Yeah, Cause last week when I asked you, B, what the top five things you like to do, sex <laughs> wasn't one of them. <laughs> That's a given. But was it a given or did you? <laughs> sex for me is a given. Oh, okay. It's not something I have to report. My <laughs> bad. Are you my bad OB? player. I'll be thirty-seven in June. Okay, right on. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm saying I got not a children. I don't just really do my shit, Mike Lowry though. Really though, you know what I'm saying? Mike you got Lowry. a really understand it with the. With the uh, uh, people I didn't deal with in my life, you know what I'm saying, and um, kid free and shit, yeah. and oh. I feel good. God, my little I'm, shit. I'm, see, I had my bad, y'all. I had to step away. I had to go get my phone. I got my notes on my phone. I know that sometimes the show looks like we don't be just we just be and going off fine. the cuff, that's but fine. nigga, we just here holler. I got some shit, but it's funny because the the conversations that we be having be so much in line. It be so much in line. Of course. So look later up later on in the show. I got uh, a subject that I got from, I'm going to call him, he my little cuz, but I'm going to call him a, a, an associate producer of, of this show, 65. Because he, he he inspired the, the episode. I mean, okay. not the episode, but the fucking uh, topic. I should, probably shouldn't even credit him because he screenshotted it and, and, and copied it from somebody else. So I should probably get him credit. Either way. I say fuck him. <laughs> either way. He got what's coming up later on in the damn show. Um, y'all was talking about masturbation. Y'all was talking about how y'all don't really need. Am I am I wrong? You don't there. need what? <laughs> you getting there? You almost wrong, but not yet. What you got to say? You say I don't need no when woman. I, when I came That's down the lie. steps, when I came down the steps, I thought I heard you saying that you don't really need a whole lot of what. No, I was what we said coming down the steps was that once you already. Masturbate, <laughs> yeah, you, you good. But okay, you're right. good, so you lose that type of lust that you'll have for your woman. Be like, well, if she want to fuck or not now, you already got the top part off. You're like, cool, whatever. I'm gonna beat my dick again anyway. Now, if you didn't beat your dick, you probably been rubbing it on her in the kitchen and so like you smacking her ass out the house because you're waiting for it, trying to set it up. You know what I'm saying? Beat your dick first. You like, fuck it, got her yeah. booty. She smack your hand. Fuck it's good. Yeah, yeah. okay, okay. I knew. I, see what you're <laughs> I, I think we, I think we might have approached that subject once before. I think we approach that subject. Because here at the J Matt Show, we're perverts. I'm not. And we're always talking about masturbation and sex. Be. I might be, though. <laughs> I might be, though. It's essential. It's essential. It's more than. No, but before I get to that other point, did y'all have y'all noticed, though, like, if you need to be out, if you need to go to the grocery store, doctor's office, good luck on getting an appointment, for real. Yeah. Um, you, CVS, uh, fast food, you hungry, whatever. It's, it's kind of ironic to me, though, that they're calling these places essential. And the mm. people working as essential workers, but they don't, and they then they're not prepared. They don't have the proper PPE. If you're an essential worker, shouldn't you have the proper protective equipment? You should be equipment? looking like you work at NASA. You should be covered Thank the hell you. up. If you got to be out here in this shit, like, so wait a minute, y'all gonna not let us get it? 
Because <laughs> they're not coming to work. So every worker that goes to work right now in Central Time, they're immune from the uh, virus. They should have shit. gloves. They should have masks. Every motherfucking thing. And you, thing. as the government or the city, should be providing the proper PPE three, to anybody that's designated as an essential three worker. Three different color hazmats. I want a black one, a red one, and a white one. If I have my options, you don't need a hat, a full. I mean, hat shit. Hat. If I gotta be out in this public, if it's that motherfucking serious, I think you should have. And I still gotta be essential. What is, what's what they requiring people to have that's working in hospitals? What you gotta have like goggles, gloves, get your temperature check. That's face about mask. it. No, for real. Like when they actually working in the hospitals and were around people that got the virus, you're supposed to have face masks, but they don't have enough of them. They don't have them. You go to the hospital right now, they'll tell you that the nurse and stuff, they don't have stuff to protect themselves. Yes, they're giving them out to the goddamn patients. So shouldn't these, shouldn't these places be closed? That's kind of hard to do. I think it should be closed. If, if it's essential, and you, but you don't have the essential protective equipment for the workers to be safe, in order for that business that's essential to stay open. What if what if them people that's in that essential business as workers get sick? That's what I'm saying. How are you going to get or more get workers exposed. to be in that essential business and keep exposed. it open? You know right. what I'm saying? Like, you're exposing them trying to make sure you take care of the people that's supposed to stay in the house. But I'm out here. So if everybody in, I'm more vulnerable to the virus, right? So now everybody else in the house chilling. It's just my ass out here. Every day transporting every day. Boom, boom, right. boom. And what really got me jacked up was like the delivery drivers. So like, Amazon you would rather Uber your today. food to you and it checks, trust the person that's Ubering your food not to have coronavirus? Yeah. They touching your shit? Yeah. And they don't look like they trained professionals. You see this Uber driver like that? They look like Cousin Rock Rock. You know what I'm saying? Dropping your shit up at your door with smelling like black and miles and shit. Put a couple people in the car with him and shit. I'm surprised that's actually still mm. flourishing, honestly. Mm. Really? Like, that's what I thought. They'd be more protective and go get it your fucking self. It's... it's, it's the way this shit is going right now, man, is almost like an oxymoron. It's redundant. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm it's saying? It's like stay at home but go out and get what you got to yeah. get. I got to get everything. Nigga, I live every day and need shit daily. And this to me, honestly, I'm not about to. Where's my shit? Let me hit my sound They effects. tripping. That's true. Because anytime we talk about the motherfucker Roni. Damn, that's true. Because you go to Family Dollar shit like that, see the workers in there, they look pissed the fuck off. It's like, Nobody why the fuck is we in this motherfucker going to be in this motherfucker if y'all got to stay at the fuck off? Nobody wants to. No pay raises. Yeah. For your essential ass. I don't know, man. This is some weird, this is some weird time. Just we like in, uh, uh, D-Hawk say, what, what about the hazard pay? If, especially if you got to go to work, essentially, you should have hazard pay on top of your shit. That is that Because you're true. jeopardizing yourself. That is true, too. You sons of bitches. I don't know, y'all. This is a, uh, it's strange. It's strange. We was watching, did I tell y'all, we watched The Matrix. I watched The Matrix with my kids. Mm. The other day. I don't remember the last time y'all seen The Matrix or not. I or if y'all remember, you never seen The Matrix? <laughs> you <laughs> shit me. He, he's, you're telling a joke right now. Nigga, I just saw Color Purple yesterday. You're, that's that's another face. joke. I never saw Matrix. I'm no, not a movie say, guy. I, I can respect that then, but okay. yeah. Well, check it out, because The Matrix is pretty deep. And in context of what's going on in the world, mm -hmm. The Matrix is really, really tripped out. I smoked a nice little joint and watched The Matrix with the family. And I was like, mind blown. This shit is wild. Hmm. And if you, I'll give you a little outline because this is real interesting. In, in The Matrix, the Messiah character, was his name was Neo. And The Matrix was like this computer program world that Roblox created for humans to to basically harvest them for energy purposes so your mind is in the matrix but your body is basically like in an egg form you're just like a you just growing like a little cocoon until you die and then they 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 cast you off so in this computer program Everybody is the world that we live in there right now. Regular shit. And Neo is the motherfucker in the Matrix that is able to break all the laws of nature. He can do, quote unquote, what would appear to be a miracle. Or he would be like a superhero or Superman type character. So Matrix, though, is some, is some crazy shit because it's run and built by the damn robots. But this person, Neo, is also created by the fucking Matrix. 
So while everybody is looking to him as a fucking hero and a savior, he's just a part of the fucking program. Mm. He's built into it to be a fucking savior figure for everybody. Mm. And it's funny how it's like you look at this world and you look at what's going on with the with the viruses and like government and the big heads of everything that's going on. You look at the news. Everything is kind of like fear mongering. It's almost geared to some shit. Like you said, it might be God making everybody do a reset or it could be some man-made shit for a reset as mm -hmm. well. But whoever is at the helm is a part of the bigger fucking picture, mm -hmm. whatever the fuck that is. Mm -hmm. So it's all, it's like the, the savior is a part of the fucking problem. So, <laughs> so how many, but you don't know, fucking know it. So how yeah, many times, how many that. times you, they get that on. That was a long way about putting shit, but yeah, yeah. he never how, seen the matrix. How many times do, you, do <laughs> Trump and, 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 um, DeWine, you, you, like damn near every day, right? DeWine in my cup? DeWine. <laughs> Where's they mask at? Huh? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Huh? Where's they six feet? Huh? How is they convenient in, in, in Congress and shit and ain't nobody huh? got no damn mask? Because that press conference, they be smuggled. Nobody social distancing in there. And then, how many superstars, athletes, had herpes? Um, I don't know. No, no, just listen. Herpes. All STDs. And no, but now everybody feel comfortable just coming out and saying, I got the corona. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you was burning just a month ago. Right. You ain't tell us you that. Ain't tell us. But this corona, like, are you doing it just? Did somebody pay you to? They do anything for clout. It's like a hashtag movement. Everything is a hashtag. Yes. Mm -hmm. like, stay strong. Stay inside. Stay home. Hashtag stay home. Like everything. Like. Everything it got it got commercialized so quickly. Like then you see commercials, mm -hmm. like different companies that you never even really seen with an ad on television. Now they got an ad with hashtag Stay Home. Right. We'll get through this together. Bitch, it's so many goddamn homeless motherfuckers. Who, they built a uh, whole skid row. Think about it. Who, who uh, <laughs> they don't give a shit about them. Who branded that Stay Home? <laughs> right. Thing? That, that's who's making the motherfucking money right yeah. now. And oh, then, right. And, and <laughs> then what saying? about this? Could have been Nike. <laughs> right. And, and, and then you know how you have, you have people that say, and our people, obey the law, right? Mm -hmm. And a lot of our people in church, like you still got church functions. Y'all ain't no band now. You got 5,000 people at church. So the church is the main one that's supposed to be obeying. They finna go to jail, though. But I'm saying though, it it should be the, the, the it should be a bar or like um, cocktail. Like nigga, I ain't closing. It's the church that like, nigga, I ain't following this rule. And you have some churches like my church, they on Zoom and all of that. You got some, but it's a lot of damn church, and you're supposed to be the example. But what example is they is they supposed to live by though? Stay at home. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying, Ob? Yeah. Is anybody supposed to be like, some? That's and that's where division come to where you'd be like, all right, is you set an example where all we where we just need to come You saying don't together, listen. Or is we listening to the people that cause some people don't trust the government. I mean you shouldn't. I'm just saying, some people don't trust the government. So they'd be like, they telling us to stay home, it's but still they trying to do it's some still other a shit law. behind our back while right. we at home. They trying Which to is go the truth. It's still a law. What? What they said. Stay at home. That it's ain't no law. It's a it's a it's a suggested. It's, a, it's called it's a, a very, suggestion. It's, it's, but that it's could very be, heavily no, no, suggested. But it could be. So you telling me that a cop a cop said it's a law. If if I see you cutting hair, oh, that's different. That's different. But just on the regular part of being a citizen, that ain't no law that no, says stay at home. No, no. They said if it's if you're not going here, you they can break up ten people if they see in a big gathering. Right, right. They could break that up. Right. So you're disobeying this command. Uh, the same, uh, what they call it, civil disobedience. Same way, like, 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 nigga, you if deliberately it's, nigga, me. If, if it's a damn <laughs> right. snowstorm, and they like, nigga, it, it's a cold three or whatever they got, they can arrest you for being out on the road. Yeah, my dude work yeah. at the, gra uh, the graveyard. <laughs> but it ain't going that it's, far. At, it at, ain't at going at that train far. Yard. It will. It can't. That's it, called martial law. No, they got a special permit right now for people to, to drive. I do work at the train spot, train yard, and they gave him a special permit to drive during this time. 
So you don't get pulled over if they lock you down. Now my shit. brother though, in um in out in California, he live in Dana Point. They said that he said well he said that out there they're starting to give people tickets. Their community has decided, okay, we're gonna ticket people if you go outside without a mask on. Now you best hope shit like that don't come around this area. Cause we'll not everybody has available. a fucking mask. Right, but what I'm available. saying is you might make a mask and that should be poorly constructed. Who the fuck knows if that mask is fucking right. safe? But if you just saying make a mask, like it's, it's it just goes too diff- too many different ways. Once you start mandating things and trying to enforce shit by law, you can't start arresting people when they letting people out of fucking jail because of the fucking shit. So you can't put people in when they letting people out because of the same shit. It is too it's so it's so confusing yeah, it's right very now. Very confusing. But what I'm saying, honestly, I really don't believe that it's going to get as bad as they are projecting on television. Well, no, so they're just we gonna make it bad. Yeah. You. The more I we believe, the worse we gonna that. make it. I believe that. Huh? I the citizens that. will make it bad for themselves. The more we believe and start getting fear. in a panic, right? That fear, we gonna fuck it up for our damn if selves. People will start the mental health shit aspect of this. Right. It's really was fucking with people more than what they can measure, as opposed to these damn tests. And you really talking about controlling some shit? You can't even test everybody, and you talking right. about it's asymptomatic people. We all could have it right now, be given to other people, but we don't have no condition. Nigga, I'm not. I'm cool. I'm not with that shit. Quarantine. It's, it's, it's too much fear mongering for me because what you're what you're in, uh, insinuating is that literally everyone could have it, but we don't know. But we don't have the ability to test everyone. So I'm supposed. So we're supposed to believe that this shit is just going to be a part of society from here on out. No, why? Because the next part of the phase is they're going to start mandating vaccines. People ain't never got vaccinated in their life. They're going to start ordering vaccines. To me, that's what you got to be more afraid of than a fucking ticket. Somebody coming to your house with a fucking needle, whole medical team, with and some police talking about, right. oh, you have not been vaccinated yet. Mm-hmm. It's time to get this shit going. That's what that's what you really need to be a fucking yeah. afraid of, because you don't know how your body's gonna react to a fucking forced vaccine if you ain't never had no shit like that in right. your life. But a ticket, I I'll, I'll get a ticket. I think I'm going to CVS. <laughs> right. I mean, I'm just saying what I'm supposed going to, to do. Going to the gas station. What I'm, I'm supposed going to, to get I was food. Supposed, like um. We we'll cut all these was, bills off. Well, we live in freedom. We live in free. Fuck it. Just just on you know bra with a work at Magic City on our high horse fat ass. You couldn't tell her nothing. Now when they they cut these damn strip clubs, nigga, I I told that bitch the other day. I said, give me a, give me number five, bitch. <laughs> Look at God. <laughs> Look at that karma. Give me a number it's five, insane. bitch. Right. Um, please speak directly into the hoochie. Yeah. <laughs> right, they out there trying to get they uh that what shit they, premium that, pages. Bro. They trying to premium page a motherfucker now. Right. Everybody got a back little premium page. You can tell the bitches they right. got one too because they use their premium the filters. Fans. Right, because because they fuck around using premium only filters for their regular up. pictures. And so like that, because the premium filters are different than the regular filters on Snapchat. So when you get the, you would tell when they got the premium filters, they just got a back premium page. The filter is different. It's a little more, actually, a little more character and shit into it and shit. A little more glimmering gloss, little sparkles that move when the face time. Does, does that stiff, shit like that? Does that stuff work on you? Like, nah, I fuck that bitch for real. Because of, <laughs> I ain't lying, I ain't lying. Fuck that you, hoes. So aggressive out here on that goddamn uh, so uh, trying to sell ass lying, on the internet nigga. and shit. Fuck you, hoes. You sack chasing ass bitches. But don't bitches. act like you don't have none of those chicks that <laughs> pop up on your explore page. They man, do, I, they and, and I'm gonna look at it for the free. They do. For the free, but I ain't liking the picture either. Bitch, you don't even get a like out of me. I'm just going to look at it and thumb around that motherfucker. <laughs> right? Fuck you, sack chasing ass. I, was, Ooh. I care for that. That was I from hate the heart. Them, I swear to God. <laughs> I be hating these bitches. I ain't none of my time. That was I be, from the heart. Let you buff around. I'll get the fuck off my timeline. Oh. This, thank bitch. you, bitch. This, this was a, something that came up, and I, I wanted to get y'all's opinion on this, because this is something that I thought about, and I swear. My whole world perception started to change a couple years ago. Now it's more solidified, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. shit is not as it appears to be, man. Whatever, everything that, and I can only speak as an American, because I don't know how it is to live abroad outside of the rules and confines of the United States of America, the land of the free home of the brave. We got a lot of shit that we have at our disposable. That's it's disposable disposal <laughs> we got a lot of shit we got access to you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. however we got a lot of people that take advantage of those things and use them to <laughs> c- 
control the masses, right? We are we got free press. You can do a lot when you can say what the fuck you want. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm I'm, I'm sitting up here, I'm like, all right, man. This whole idea of relationships. Relationships on the level of man and woman. Boyfriend, girlfriend, marriage. People even say, and it's been said for the longest, this is my soulmate. Women love to say, my soulmate. Or the person that God placed on this earth for me. I mm-hmm. met my match. Mm-hmm. Now, it's come to my attention that that's all some fucking bullshit. Let me explain. I believe that there, if you believe in God, and if you believe in the regular order of shit as it is in the world that we see it, shit happens. Yeah. Relationships fall apart. People fall in love. They fall out of love, right? But then you can make it back and fall in love again, right? So, it's of my understanding, my belief that God has created, if you believe in that, way more than one fucking soulmate for you in this world. Yeah. And depending on where you are in this world, determines which soulmate you meet. Right. I always thought about that. I said, <laughs> what if right now the one I'm supposed to be with been living in India or motherfucking Africa somewhere, goddamn Toronto? Maybe the bitch in, maybe she downtown on 55th. I don't you motherfucking know. You know what yet. I'm saying? But I don't fuck around like that. So all I'm subjective to is what I got around me. So that's when I'm going to fall in love with something around this motherfucker. So, you know, so something available and convenient. Is it necessarily your soulmate or is it the person that is most convenient for where you are in life at that time? Or the person I, that most matches the season that you in in life at that time? It's just like a convenience store. It's why it's convenient. Or you just don't have the ability because of child support to get a passport and go nowhere else. No, I just think it's more like this here. I'll say it's quite simple as an analogy here. It's convenient. Because, like, say when the grocery store is closed, the convenience store is open. They got all the products, and it's going to be a lot more expensive. But that's all you got available, so you go deal with it, right? So you, now, if you got a bigger horizon to work with, you can find something better to eat. You know right. what I'm saying? Something could, else to do. You could take somebody like, man, my favorite restaurant or my favorite dish is this. Because that's all you've been. Mm -hmm. But if you go to other countries or other cities, your favorite restaurant will probably become probably that. So I'm not far off on what I'm saying. No, No, you're not far off at all. Uh. No, you can have so, I mean, soulmates was, that don't mean it's just one. Mm. I I don't believe in, I think it's hard, I think at our age, I think it's hard to fall back in love. Really? yeah, it's it's like head over heels well, type of love. It's like once a like car- I want to get married type love. You mean or just like in love general? I think it's like it's like having a car. So when when that car is hit, like you could take somebody, man, like Harlan, like it's some cats that know. What cars. up, Harlan? What's up, my nigga? Yeah, birthday, birthday tomorrow. But they'd be like, man, this car been in an accident before. You're like, nigga, how do you know? Cause they'll tell you, look at that cutter, that paint, that paint off a little bit, this and that, such and such. They just so once it's damaged, that's like once you lose trust with somebody, let alone and and really you fall out because it was some type of cheating involved. That's hard. But what makes it what makes it so difficult in your opinion for you to get that back trust. with somebody else? Trust, once that trust is gone, man, it's like it's just as. But you, but it, it, it wouldn't it be kind of miserable to go through the world where you're like, damn, I can't fucking trust nobody no more. Like, no, no, no. I said that. I, no, no. I'm talking. What I was but my question was like to find it with somebody else. Yeah, will make it like you where can. you don't, where you don't think you could find it with somebody else. You can. Oh, okay. You can. Yeah, that's so, what I was. But, but the thing is, it's it's go, it's your so many red flags. Once you see a red flag. That's why I, I tell her, bro, look, you ain't the bitch that fucked me over, and I ain't the nigga that fucked you over. Keep your bags outside. I keep my bags outside. But if I see a red flag, of course, I'm like, oh, this is how this shit went. Triggered. Out. You're triggered. But my thing is this, though. And that's and I, I, love, I love my Cleveland. I love my Cleveland. But it just seems like it's a lot of Cleveland women that's jaded. 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 Oh, yeah. Fences. Oh, yeah. Like. Oh, yeah. Um, they hardcore. They tough. 
Cleveland women yeah. tough. Just like and I mean, you know, I told this last bit. We we was moving, we was helping her on. Like you want to be a, a nigga, <laughs> bitch. Drop them silverware. Come help me with this dresser. Mm-hmm. You want to be a motherfucking nigga. Right. <laughs> but um, I will tell you what, and and I'm gonna tell you how it's something. They didn't just become lesbians overnight. It's something. If you love bitches so much, why ain't y'all got a fake pussy? You got a fake deal though. You just don't like the nigga that come with that natural dick. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. still love the instrument, right? They, that they let damn you near know, crazy. But, but it's I, I, and that comes from like in the book. How did the village leave? That comes from molestation. That comes from rape. Trauma. That comes from not trusting. They didn't have. They didn't see that that father. Like wow, that's how a king come in the house. They hurt your daddy ain't shit. That nigga ain't shit. Mm-hmm. And then a the man that I trust molest me and this and that. Guess what? I don't fuck with niggas. Soon as you try to holler at a, br- hey, how you doing? You ain't even try to holler at him. Nigga, fuck you. That's like, bitch, I was trying to get oh, some hands on So aggressive. Now look here in the service Jeez. industry. This is my biggest problem I got with the uh, female. The female. I didn't think you had any ones. problems. See, I thought you was <laughs> knocking them down. No, and- no, not the butchie. You're talking about butchie. <laughs> I said, my problem with Butchie is this. <laughs> Bitch, I'm talking about you. Uh, <laughs> I'm talking about, I'm talking about <laughs> you. Nigga. Right, I you, forgot, Butch. Forgot we were talking you know about what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm talking about Butch, bitch ass. That come up in this moment and try to look just like me. You know what I'm talking about? And I don't know what to say, how to greet him in the service. Is he, hello, sir, ma'am, what? Because you'd be like, how y'all ladies doing? She'll look at bitch. She look at you like, nigga. Oh, Maybe I say, how you doing, yeah. sir? I ain't no nigga. But I don't know how to play with your butch ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? So like, look, but you know what I'm saying? For our sake, butch. You know what I'm saying? Wear some how you want to be dressed. I mean, dress how you want to be approached. You know what I'm saying? Because oh. shit. Because you got a hat to the back and you see, still see your tits. You know, <laughs> stupid. But they be trying to press them down. Though, so <laughs> right, with the two fucking sports bras on and shit like that. Being but yourself hey, cancer. Hey, hey. Calm down, because we love the LGBTs. Yeah, dudes. I was just about Butch. <laughs> you know butch ain't got nothing to do with that. B. He, he a different. You got to add LGBT. the butch in there. Because uh, that's the confused one. Because like that's why you fucking it up at. I'm trying to be respectful, so I just call you person. Because right now you get mad, I call you girl, or mad, I call you dude. So it's like shit, you fucking up, not me. Mm-hmm. Get mad when I look at your girl, like so that's, that's, looking at you too, it's, butch. It's underline, man. I see your it, booty, butch. Butch be having an ass on her too. Oh. No, you know, butch always got a big ass booty trying to sag. I don't. I, no, like, I ain't looking at your honestly, girl, I've butch. I'm looking really at you too. I did. Right, look at butches the be having booties. I didn't look at the like, butches, man. Brad had a big booty. But she, I think to me, like she was like the outlier, man. What do you mean? Like the one off, like the one that just happened to have the fat ass. Like I didn't think. That no, most man. Butches, a lot of butches got see, booties. I see the shit. I'm like, nigga, you. Butches yeah. be having booties. booties. <laughs> you know he said butchies. Butchies be, hey, butchies be hey, having dude, boots. What you they be wearing? Right? Though, they, they be like, bad and bad. And bad. I look at and, you, girl. And, 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 you got more ass than your girl, true, bitch. Nigga, we see ass. That's what I'm saying. We can see her ass in the sleep. All right, all right. So listen. So right, butch is getting hard, mad at me hard. from looking at her girl, but actually butch, I'm looking at your booty. You know what I'm saying? Because bitch, you but a bitch too. But but most of the butches look at both y'all ass butch. But most of the butches in the face, though, they don't really be pleasing in the face. They be trying their best to try they not try to. They try their best not to, but they try I look as plain Jane and like possible. You can see that shit. How that cheeky bone on that bitch. You can see that I like shit. pretty girls, though. They be pretty. I like feminine women. Now, would, would, you take, would you take a pretty girl over a nobody or a body with a decent face? What's decent, though? <laughs> like, decent is like a seven. I'm real bougie. Huh? I take a seven in a nice body. Yes. Nigga, what, I give me a, an example. Or. Give, me, give me an example of a no. seven. Please. All right, just for the sake of where we at, at right now in this conversation. A what's seven? an example of a seven? Like, please. Uh, Taja P. Henson. I was just, I was just ready to say Taraji. 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 I see Taraji is nice okay, seven and a yeah. half, eight. Yeah, you, seven, that's eight. That's a good fucking You know what I'm saying? Example. Yeah, Taraji. Because right. she pretty, but she ain't bad. Yeah. Okay. Halle Berry is your 10. And, and you mm-hmm. said, okay. So why, would I rather have a seven with no. a body? Uh, yeah. A seven with a body or 10 with nothing. And then, or With would nobody. you? Or would you oh, have? No, a, no, you get to have buddy. Yeah. Would you have? Would you? What about a Grace Jones? Never a Grace Jones. What a, what a, goddess body. With Grace Jones' attitude. Grace Jones looked mean. Uh, I'm, I'm saying with, with her attitude. No, just her face. Okay, now I gotta have Grace like Jones. Like some Jones. Conan? I need. I need her persona like, with that face. Conan. And Grace Jones, Jones was only that sick that she that she she was. Confident in that, who am yeah, I tear some dick up type of face? You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, no, I'm just an ugly. Just yeah, a, I, no, no, I ain't taking just grace. 
Hey, you know how you know you got ugly girl when you be like, hey, nigga, I'm on my way. Who over there, man? <laughs> okay, all right, okay. You Make sure you know. Hey, put your shoes on. We can, <laughs> ride past the street it. twice, hey, after the house then, twice. You get so I ain't never no ugly chicks. Yes, I have. I back, smash me some what, ugly bitches. Not my grown type days. But, but then you get so comfortable. She treated you like a king, the pussy, and everything. You forget that this bitch ugly. You like nigga, niggas like nigga. Why don't you tell me this bitch? You like I forgot. <laughs> you you forget because niggas be sporting some ugly, bro. Yeah. I be but I be I be contributing that to that's just what what's around them. It's fucking ugly chicks that's willing to give them dome at a moment's notice. Yeah, I see they know they. Pfft. Really, I'm for real. Like, I feel like these is, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Like, all right, some of these young, some Bill. of these young rappers, mm-hmm. some of these young dudes I be seeing online, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. NBA Young Boy and Kodak Black and the, all these young, they be literally entertaining hood rat chicks, lace fronts, long nails, every, like the whole lashes, like they be looking like That's straight hood chicks because they they fit them. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I'm straight because, up. Okay, so look. <laughs> right. look Super cool. Like, hey, I look, can't a do hood it. Chick, a hood chick is only there if you look at it and they know. A hood chick, I want to be around you to be a broad older, like, nigga, I need how much? Say, that's too much for them. I I, I want to, bro- this broad fits what we got going on. She's a runner. She's like she can shut the fuck runner. up. I call her bitch and hoe and everything like that. Yeah. Tell her to shut the fuck up. Yeah. Kick her out. Yeah. Beat her ass. They be wifing them too, though. Once that's again. Because that's all they know. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. This world is wild, man. It's wild. Talking about, I, want, I, want my, I want me and my guy to have nigga, matching I, guns and ski I masks. Can go holler what? Bro. <laughs> I can go holler at the bra <laughs> from Geppetto's. We talk. She want to go to motherfucker Wade or something. Nigga, I holler at Sharon Reed. I'm like, bitch, I ain't got that type of ah, <laughs> This bitch want to go to Reed the motherfucker, nice. to the Pier W nigga every day. I said, no, yes. bitch. Sharon we'll Reed go to nice. Whitmore's. We'll go to that pier. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but it's so. You go to that's, Windermere. <laughs> that's why if you look at <laughs> RTA, yeah, those, those fit in his genre of you going to be submissive. Yeah, These yeah. bras, they act. It's his type. This is what they call it, niche. That's their niche. This right. is niche. It's niche. This is where he operates yeah. at his highest but I tell level you this, of capacity. I like crazy. A, a broad my age. If you look right. at this, right? I love crazy. If, bitches, if, so niggas, sure. niggas be like, a older bro, like a broad my age or older. Not to say all, but either their body is horrible. Um, you you came out of relationship. Now you in the club more than these young broads. You in every the horizon got eighty pages, bitch. You in eighty two. Do you go home? <laughs> all right. They're living their past. Yeah, all the happy hours. Right, because they had them babies early in the mug. Right. So it's like, um, it's just like something like and 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 if you see a broad that's like forty, like actually thirty eight and up, constantly always single, it's you. Right. Yeah. You can't blame the nigga. No. It's you. Um, that's like you seeing that car like, damn, why ain't that car being, nigga, it's a car on any road, nigga, a Corvette. Niggas know that's a big car. This shit wide open, the keys of that motherfucker. You get in that motherfucker, nigga, you in prison. Whoop, whoop. Right. So my thing is, it's like, it's just, it's always something more than, and the experience where we at, nigga, you ain't got to be with no bra for two weeks or a week, nigga, I can tell what you own in five minutes. Minutes. Just by the questions you keep asking my right. ass. Five right. minutes. Same thing with a nigga. I, I could tell what you want. That energy immediately. So when I'm driving and lifted, I can tell as soon as a nigga get in, I already know what it's about to be. You know what I'm saying? Ain't there your senses? Damn, I smell a black and mild. And I tell him, hey man, you, you can you can blow in here. What? Cause I want this ride to be real cool. Mm-hmm. I told this white boy, man, in Willoughby. I like, man, I can tell. Are you, you talking smoke. about on the Uber shit? Yeah. I like, you smoke? I like, man, you can smoke. He's like, dude, really? I like, yeah. I'm driving. I'm like, are you getting all fives? If niggas is right. blowing, you I'm getting like, all I know fives. What smell like. This nigga's right. back smoking crack. 
He's smoking. Wrong. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. You lie. Run that back. Run that back one more time. rock out in the middle of the road. <laughs> I'm like, you don't. You can smoke. You know. You can tell he he. he you know. You was talking about marijuana and no. or black and mild Cigarette. cigarettes. Okay. Just chill. Right. I give him water. I give him. You just I'll talking about you. regular yeah. smoke. Yeah. I'm like, you can smoke. He like, oh, thanks, dude. I'm driving. I'm rolling down Mayfield. I'm like, nigga, man, I don't smell like no mother like a camel. <laughs> camel. That nigga was, I'm like, that's. He had the whole glass. He piece. threw the rock out in the middle of the road. So me, look, I'm like Willie D, nigga. Willie D said, he said, me personally, I don't mind copping day. Huh? What you do, smoke weed? My thing is, give me five stars and tip me and put this air right there. <laughs> That's like, too much, right? I know, uh, I know, uh, but I'm just saying. Let me get that bread. Right. But um, did you put him out? No. No. <laughs> did you can? Did you let him smoke? Yeah. <sighs> did you catch contact? A little. <laughs> <laughs> A little. But here's the thing, real talk. <laughs> I'm so big on energy. I want to make of energy was that? No, God, but I'm. I'm, I'm <laughs> I, I, I guess the the point. I've been around at. Yeah. It's nothing to me. Real talk. I be around addicts. I, I got family members. That, so it's like it was, it tripped me out that he would do this, but it's not, it wasn't out of my norm. I, that's why I'm right. tripping that he would actually feel comfortable enough to fucking smoke in yeah. the Uber. Like, but wait, that fuck, urge, bro. Man, bro, we could smoke, bro. Right. But so, but here's the thing at my comedy shows, period, I want you to, to be in a relaxed form. Whatever takes this ride. Mm hmm. That you the most relaxed then if it's not concerning me. Take the journey with me. However you feel comfortable. Yeah. Now mm -hmm. if the nigga was like right here, I couldn't. But it was separation. And I, I ain't trying to I'm so big on whatever you want. Whatever it takes. That's why when, when that's why when you host a party, you got Michelob, you got that, you got water, you got juice. You want them to have a good time. I'm not going to no party where they got chorus light though. <laughs> Or Milwaukee's <laughs> best. I'm staying home. Yeah, I yeah. had another bro. This was two. This was before him. Two white girls. Like she's like this. Like pass out. Then her girl, cause they could put a stop. She, the white girl, she wasn't speed with. Bill Cosby was my motherfucker. Right. But, um, her got pussy it's all the out. Trust that you're putting in this complete stranger. Right. That is so fucked. Like you say, man, I, I didn't realize. You, this nigga, we so busy about this coronavirus, but this nigga that's delivering. Right. It ain't no special motherfucker bio bag. Right. And But it's funny, though. They, like, on on commercials, they promote contactless delivery. Right. That what you mean you was fingering my shit before? What right. was you doing before? Right. Now that it's, now you promote it was contactless. Now you can get a drink. Right. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. get alcohol delivered. Two. Two. Yeah. Two strong ones. Let me get two quadruple Once again, doubles. That's your mouth. That's but, but you can open containers is all, all out the window. No, they said they gotta be. They gotta be have a container on. I mean I ain't got no special pop you presser. Like, the, the, That's like that shit. I put your soup cup with a lid on that motherfucker yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah, sitting yeah. out the door. Now, that's still in Ohio, that's open container. Cause not in the bottle. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So hey, so you want somebody to take your look at probably swig at it? What you what you got? A metric up at home to see how many shots you actually got? I don't know, man. Don't different. be goofy, people. All I'm right. about to get your own shit. We about to get to what I alluded to earlier in the show. This is a question though, because I wanted to ask this and it was kind of right on time. I screenshot it because I knew y'all was coming. So I'm the only married man here. Mm. You are single. Mm -hmm. But you have been married before. Yes. Mm. You are single. Yeah, I've been engaged. Correct? Or maybe, I don't know if you're single. I don't want to assume. Engaged. You, en you engaged? Yeah. Oh! I, I was. Okay, so you've been engaged, yeah. but currently... Yeah. All right, it is what it is. Yeah. It do what it do. So, our associate producer for the 65th episode of the J Matt Show is Jordan Pruitt. And he screenshotted and shared Radiance Williams' post. Her post says... And it's an interesting question. Do men still want to be husbands in this era? It's an interesting question. Yes. Because you don't really see too many weddings and proposals happening. I think when there was a cluster of time when I got married. Humbo. Where it wasn't a whole lot of shit going on. 
But I do remember I like a few summers back, maybe five, six years ago, where I was attending a lot of weddings. Yeah. But I haven't attended a whole lot. These recent years. Recently. Right. Yeah. yeah. And now I, that we've started a whole new decade, it's interesting to see how how we look at the landscape of marriages yeah. in the next yeah. t- ten years. I do. I, I I think that I think they still want to get married be, because either something they never had, you know, they never seen their mother, or like kid, they be like, yeah, I, I want another kid. I want. I always wanted this, and I always wanted that. Um, but I do agree on how the times are changing. Just like my buddy uh, Spike Lou, comedian. He said, what, in 1975, um, top, the top three, you know, family affair, it's a family affair. Now, nigga, the top three is, I ain't fucking with you. Right. You little bit, like, it's like everything. You stupid ass. Like, everything is now, and you know what started that? Like, when you break away the dinner table, the first thing that I realized to start a, a family away from being a family is when they created the TV table. Oh, for you, TV TV dinners for the TV tray. Yeah, no, that 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 dinner table was how how was your grade? How, what's going on? Your teacher called, or that's when the teacher called. Why y'all was happy? It was, and when you when you stop that, now mm-hmm. everybody is so division. This internet, we so connected, but we so distant. Niggas talk about we doing social distance. Now we've been doing social distance. You go to a rest, he see it firsthand. Nigga, you get couples, nigga, they round their phone. Right. They ain't even talking to each other. Came in together, barely want to know what to eat. What you want to get? What you like? I don't I know. I mean, what but you order? so so a lot of a lot of men is meeting women, and a lot of women is meeting men via social distancing online. Is that producing marriages though? No, just, man. just a question. Producing motherfucking more know. badass kids. Because That's I it. mean, you say you said men still want to get married. Do you still want to get married? I never want to get married. You don't want to get married. I I, I but I, you think I, other men want to get married? I my, think that's like, like my dude right down the road, my dude Ray, man, he he loves, he loves that whole marriage type. He because lo- his daddy and his mom. Why you don't? I, I, why you don't want to get married? I, you don't have my, to share, but I'm asking. No, no, I'll share. Why you don't want to get married? I, I'm stuck on me. I, as far as like, I'm selfish. I struggle, no, <laughs> I struggle with me. Like, it's shit that I ain't seen yet. So and you ain't like, ready to bring a whole another person into your life where at the point where you ain't when you when you when you asked me about this show, yeah. all I had to say was, Do I gotta work? Um what's going on with me? For me to give that up, right, it's it gotta be it gotta be I'm in it. I'm not gonna settle. I'm not right. going I'm not running. I'm, I don't got no problem settling down, but I'm not gonna settle. I refuse to be unhappy. It scares me to be uh, to have an unhappy home. And no, and that's definitely a scary fucking situation. I didn't see an unhappy yeah. house is fucking horrible. That's a yeah. that's a horror film. Yeah. I didn't fair. see if you look at <laughs> Mars, is it not me? He, he knows. No, I don't even me getting in your business, but oh, no, you that know. sounds what, like what the worst. You, what time Friday thirteenth. You talking about day? What? Well, yeah. When right we, now when we in. Oh, 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 sit down. Your spot open. We open at four. Okay. Yeah, we're doing four to twelve so right you now. You have spots twelve, even in the morning. Um. These niggas are rushing in. This ain't wing night. I just don't want to go home. Right. <laughs> right. You feel me? Right. And and not to say that oh, it's girls that I'm like, damn, I'm digging. And it's usually the girls I dig don't dig me. They'll dig you and you. The girls that digging you and you will dig me. And it's like my thing is I see other than the bed. I see like what else after we fuck. Is it going to be the street drama? Is it, And especially where I'm at. If you don't under, understand this grind, I don't need that. Who that Question bitch on the stage? I don't. Go ahead. You no, know, you can finish what you no, were about to say. So I didn't know you was engaged before, and I, I we ain't about to make long this time. all. Long, we ain't even to make this all about D Hawk. But I'd be curious. I'd be like and ask questions and shit. Why? Oh, all right, I'm not gonna ask you why you, you can, but I don't. You don't need to share it. I do. But is it related to the to reason why you don't want to be married? No. Now? Okay, so those no. are two unrelated things. No, okay. because I didn't let I didn't let her jade me. I didn't let I I, I had that already. I I've been in love with girls that I that I, I love them, man. That I <laughs> I, I think I love I love them, man. <laughs> <laughs> I get he, home, he don't love me. 
Dee Hawk, you don't love me. <laughs> what was that intro of Project Pap? <laughs> I'm going to kill him when I get home, though. <laughs> <laughs> what was that intro? Uh, uh, what was that? Don't say I just up. want you to love me. I forgot what that was from. <laughs> and then the father. But anyway. <laughs> look, had a moment. Loving, when you find a girl, I, I, don't, I don't believe in just soon as soon as we do something they said never make decisions when you mad and never make promises when you're happy mm-hmm. it's like don't go to the grocery store when you're hungry yeah. mm-hmm. i've been in I, I didn't have girls where i'm like i'm digging her like i'm digging the kid she got a good kid i'm digging her and she just Ain't they, shit. They, damn they, i can't date chicks with kids i don't know what it is well all right well be i cannot date think, a chick with kids do you think men at this day and age because we got friends we got a whole ass group chat yeah do you think men and we ain't talking about i'm not talking about right. our group chat but just in general you think men is still really interested in getting married and and then answer just for yourself like would you yeah, myself, would you personally. entertain getting married again like no no and no no that i'm interested i'm not interested in it miss me with that bullshit whatever you gotta say yolo don't give a fuck it's an absolute no to me so why don't you no. men are interested in it? that shit is that shit is dead as fuck because like man there's too much out here look how vulnerable these women are look how much vulnerable the men are look how much vulnerable this <laughs> oh, world shit. is like, it's like the access to anything pray, huh? right, right it's too much access to shit you ain't gotta be what's being faithful when you got a dm when you got a secret phone when you got uh, yeah, private little messengers you right, got okay. if you liking a guy page what the fuck is a what the fuck is a work husband i see where you're going here i see where you're going oh that's just my friend when i'm at work no that's the niggas gonna hit soon as i fuck up with you you know what i'm saying <laughs> i'm saying by any means that that's here you know, say what the fuck is I'm a work really husband the work guy. i'm saying like fuck all that so work, miss I'm me work that's husband oh, work friend man that's just I, 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 we shit. just go to lunch every day but Right, friend. this man do a more date times than you with you than your motherfucking your ass with your wife than you are. Yeah. Cause they work together every motherfucking day. Y'all stay scheduled just fucking same every See, motherfucking and, and, day. And that, and that was the thing too. Like I always been like the best fucking ever. Number was two. that your way in? Was that your way way yeah, into but, the But to he, fans? here's the thing with me. Was that your I never ever ate, never did hate on the nigga. You mean you wasn't respect a, I wasn't, we ain't about the down talk him my whole a, time. It's a term for that. Wait, 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 it's called dirty macking. No, sneak dissing. Dirty macking is the term. Dirty macking. You dirt, dirty dirty macking macking. is when you shit on another nigga or whoever. You snaking that nigga. And I tell a nigga, look. And to make your my, way in. I tell a nigga, my, fuck her. Don't fuck me. Don't, don't go on your merits. Don't right. tell her where I've been. About all about I my shit. Right. But I'm telling uh, if a girl, I'm the number two nigga. That's my. <laughs> so That's if a girl be like, "Look, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a quit the, you bet not. <laughs> right. You better keep that nigga. Right, right, right. Christmas right. coming up. We need that nigga. Right, he's like, we need that nigga. <laughs> Your birthday coming up. We need that. This nigga. This bonus is amazing. <laughs> yeah, bus bonus is amazing. I buy, I buy nigga Jordans. I'm, what, what size the nigga wear? Because right. I don't want to lose his position. Because when I come to one, now right. I gotta get all this responsibility. I yeah. don't want to be the point guard. Let me respect. Shoot. Let me shoot that bitch. Let me, right. It's Christmas. He, that was like uh, right. uh, fucking Chris Rock on uh, Kanye shit. Like, I, I love this nigga, man. I'm going to shoot a bootlegger. <laughs> like, I, that's how much I love this nigga. I never, nigga. like I say, man, I never, you know, girl, yeah, that nigga been this and that nigga been, oh, man. Uh-uh. Brian, don't talk me. to me about this, motherfucker. I don't want to hear nothing did to your crazy ass. Nothing. Shit. And um, it, it's, it's, da- it's dangerous. Um, You got niggas that got, that's why. I, Going over another broad's house, I don't do it. I remember what this broad told me. She said she stayed by herself, right? Yeah, I'm like, hold on. I see a motherfucking son, 14, 10, my DeWalt drill, and some motherfucker Murray's Grease. DeWalt drill. It's a nigga that's staying. This motherfucker. Right. I, I know when a nigga right. staying this Hell bitch, yeah. nigga. I don't smell no spices. I know nothing. She go, man, I don't want to hear you using it for your edges. <laughs> nigga, I, the bitch, I'm about using it for my edges. No, bitch. That's this way bitch, I, I went in that kitchen. They was like, he did all oh, type of oh, recon. Oh, Riley. I <laughs> and that nigga come home, and guess what? It's over. It's going big. I've been, in, about that. I've been in houses yeah, these lose their with, life with Home day. Depot, right. Lowe's, Cleveland Housing Network. Nigga, I see a motherfucker come in. Nigga, look. That nigga did it right. Real talk. No. Right. Cause you going in, this <laughs> said, look at my badge. Employee of. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Real talk. You coming home in a fucked up day. Just whatever, nigga. See a nigga. I ain't got no regular clothes. You know, these regular clothes, nigga. I just right. got a khaki shirt. No, nigga, look. My, my no, that, no, for real, no, for real talk. 
that's the that's a bad feeling. And I ain't gonna lie, it, most of the men that are allowed in my home are I know them personally. I'm cool, but there's a feeling when you get when you come home from work. And when you pull into your driving, there's a man already there. It don't give. It don't even matter who right. the fuck the man it don't is. Who the fuck it is? Why is there another man in here? My motherfucking as shit. I'm pulling up from my day off. My, 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 I can't from cut it. Getting off of work, you shouldn't be nobody else to fuck here. This nobody nigga make it. Hey, I enter my goddamn. I, if I had kids, I'd build it with my son home before I get there. <laughs> 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 nigga, you wait outside until I get home, motherfucker. You know <laughs> don't you step foot in this <laughs> motherfucker. Remind me of Mark. <laughs> Right nigga, get him with that pussy nigga. Let me let, let me tell you something, nigga. Right. <laughs> <laughs> ain't gonna be pussy. no bullshit, nigga. Right, like, get up in the bullshit. Like, you so crazy, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> nigga ain't gonna be no. You know, bullshit. you had to backtrack. You yeah, know, everybody but, had to backtrack from yeah. the jokes that they used to make. Yeah. Back so I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need no wife. Uh, moving on, moving further. So you, so, so, out of the countless numbers of soulmates that are possibly made for you out there, right. you have. Now I'm not gonna say you gave up, but you are not uh, pressed about finding another soulmate. I'm just still searching. <laughs> Here's another question. My shit is on stuck. Hold on. Here's Search mode. <laughs> like my shit did, ain't If you did find that other soulmate that was made for you, would you would you make the decision to get the holy matrimony going, or would you just decide? If to I be met like, her hey, here, let's just exist as soulmates. I only gotta meet her here. If I happen, happen to ever move out of out of Cleveland. I'll probably look at the possibility of that then. Here, fucking forget about it. If I did meet that bitch here, hopefully she's from out of town and up being here, then we go move back where the fuck she was from or somewhere else. But if I get in love with somebody, we're getting the fuck out of here. I'll give you a perfect example and exactly what we talked about, too. So my love is the community. So I'm doing the comedy, you know what I'm saying? I went up and I hollered because I saw D Rugs with, with, the, with the kid. I'm just going up there to give him a donation. Actually, I gave him a cash. Out. I was just going up there, boom, boom, boom. I did not plan to be there for three weeks. Right. See what I'm saying? Like, I didn't intentionally go there to work. Right. And to promote videos. and to, But it's like, damn, I love what this nigga doing. Yeah. Right. So I'm not running from love, but I'm not running to it. Right, right. If it happens to be there, then it'd be there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Usually when you hear, like, somebody like, dang, I started comedy, nigga. Because I was just, they just said, go up there. Because such and such didn't show up. But I'm not looking. I'm not, nigga. I'm going to veil, nigga. Look for me, a girl, nigga. I'm not going to. Right. No, Where it, Mrs. It, right it, at with a ring already in my pocket right, and not, shit? Because when you do that, you're going to rush. Have you noticed, like, older people, like, they get married, like, in two days? Like, nigga, I saw our former meal, nigga. Mm. Because <laughs> former <laughs> meal. I'm just saying, like, they, right. like, nigga, what about the, the girl from two weeks ago? They're looking for that. They know they're getting older. I need. I got a massage today by my homegirl. She's so dope, man. Right. But was it a full body? Yeah, it was a full body. But it. it I mean, I'm just curious. You know. But <laughs> I'm just saying, like, full body. I don't shit. just think yeah. what real talk. I don't. I don't just think with my dick no more. Like, nigga, I'm 44. Like, nigga, she's great with the body. She's I don't ever want to get to that point in my life. This guy I, needs to I make see. all my decisions. <laughs> 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 I, I, I'm, I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Be here. Right. I'm on. Nigga, I see a fat ass. I holler, whatever. But I'm. Did she be I'm, in your videos? No. Oh. Her name Keisha. I'm still Keyshawn. like nigga. <laughs> but nigga, I, I, I'm, I will. Show what Will Chamberlain say. Keep using my motherfucker till it don't work no more, nigga. <laughs> You know, said so the day I got used Viagra, be like, that's look, the time I will start look, looking to get no, married no, or something no. like that. Hawk like, no, Hawk like nigga, not, you ain't 44 not, yet, nigga. Not, yeah. right. When, when my dick quit saying. working, that's when I'm going to start getting married. I'm saying I see, I can see a crazy bitch, and I'm like, okay, nope. If if you call me 30 times already and we haven't did anything, if you popping up at my door, that's like, okay, get out of here. That's some internal shit that I see already that you nipping in the bud. So it's like it's the same thing when they say if a nigga owe you twenty and he didn't pay you, keep that twenty. You mm. just bought yourself for twenty. Mm. So I'm saying I see something other than just fucking. I mm. see in the morning. Mm. Now, I'm, I'm, that's like a box. Your lenses is different at this point, basically. Yeah. You see it. You yeah. see it through whole different lenses of, of what I, this that, situation that's like is. A, that's like an athlete. Like where I'm at with my comedy. Like I'm that close. That's like an athlete. Like is she out for my money? They mm. got that filter up. Mm. And and you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, like, NFL and NBA, they, you go through a crash course. Like, look, when you go 
on the date. This is how many rape cases we got. This mm-hmm. is how many niggas went to the pen for trust in the bra. You mm-hmm. gotta have that up. Do you do you be having? I ain't gonna cut you off, but do do you be um do you be having any type of like paranoia from like people? And their intentions when Every they be day. when they be reaching out to you. Like I'm watching Nipsey Hustle. Like this, this nigga was with the community. Right. I'm with the community. Yeah. Nigga got killed. Yeah. You don't think nobody? Like, I, I think you. I, honestly, y'all, I think you are more loved. I think you know how loved you are. I don't think you have very many enemies. I don't know you personally. I mean, not, I don't know you personally, but I don't know you to the point where. I know your the inner workings of your everyday life, right. but you don't. You're not the type of person that would go out there and do the type of things that would make some malicious not like you or want to harm you. But people are vindictive. People don't like to see good. Martin Luther King was stabbed at a book. Oh, matter of fact, matter of fact, I, I did want to speak on um, the Goodfellas incident. And you don't have to give any more information than you you know you need to, but I'm not really sure what happened or what was the motivation behind that. Mm-hmm. But I I do want you to speak on what you've been doing up there at at Goodfellas uh, Barbecue and with the uh, good homie D Rugs and because you've been doing some good work up there. And I want to definitely give the homie a shout out because that's amazing. Yeah, how you how you flip that incident. In right. some positive, but that, like I said, that that's just him. So it, it's like I just, I just went up. He was already doing it. That's how I got involved with East Cleveland. Mm-hmm. I was I was rushing because I should have been had my shirt on. Oppress People Nation down in East Cleveland, where we feed the poor, shelter the poor, help the. This is daily. Um, I got a. I would love to have it that that, that people didn't even know I was a, a good fellas. I want to be a silent blesser. Just like what Madam uh, C.J. Walker uh, made, uh, self-made. A lot of people didn't know that that LeBron was the executive producer. Right. I, I, you ain't got to see that. You feel me? So my thing is, I just, he already had the wheel going. And like I said, my shed of the t- I see kids coming in. I'm like, damn. I'm like, hey, you need an help? Nigga, I ain't leave the kitchen since. But that's just how we do it. But um, as far as with the brick, that just happens. People hate to see. that. That was more internal. That some they always say if your house get broken into, it was probably somebody that been in your house. When I seen the brick, I was like, man, that's some shit that a kid would do. In my mind, I was like, I can't relate that to an adult, but it's also it's always possible. So people it's always possible. people don't realize this. I was on the news with, with Steve Walker, with, with the with the um the guard with the guard. Yeah, I seen it. And after the news, it got vandalized. Right. OPN. This was before that. He's putting on functions like he. We do comedy shows. We do beat for beats. We, we I mean, uh, rap battles. So he's just generating money, and then he had the guy want to come and bring some strippers in there. But he's gener. It wasn't. It looks bad. Now all of this and this and that. And I'm like, damn, am I bad luck? So. If you go into your history books, it's just always there. It's always, you know, the whole thing with the Malcolm X and the Muslims and. and Man, I, you know what though? Like with the with the whole, like you said, this is a is a reset, right? It's a possible reset, and everybody got their own idea what the reset button is or what it's inspired mm-hmm. by or what's gonna come out of the whole reset. Yeah. But it's my hope that more of well, us. Yeah. Decide to come out the yeah. reset and right. be like it's important to unify because, like you got like you got in times like these when really when sh- yeah. shit hit the fan, and you do got to quarantine and you got to mm-hmm. be like all right, we can't go out to the stores. The stores is closed. You need community now. Now you need community. You now need I need to rely fellas. on B Hill. B right. Hill got the fly fishing skills. He know where to <laughs> find. It. You know what I'm saying? D Hawk. <laughs> He got a whole supply of canned goods that he been hoarding in his basement for a minute. Me, I got uh, a whole bunch of fucking whatever, ammunition or whatever. Like, <laughs> yeah. so, we need to fucking depend on people. But, so I hope that this it, teaches people that it, you can't it, it self-isolate. Won't. It won't. But the, the, that's the part, that's the double-edged sword is because they're teaching you social distance. But when you come out of this, you so, should be learning that you need community. So, right. so check out. You need to what, depend you on people. Everybody been, been donating like it's been amazing. 
So people bring up sweets. They bring up muffins. They bring up cupcakes. They bring they they food. This go this dude from California donated boxes of shrimp. Do he donated um um chicken, um orange juice. So I've been giving them out. I know some mothers that need. I don't know how this kid got this bag, but however he did it, somebody called in and was like, "That kid came home with 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 that. We had butter." And she said that was a threat. She's calling the police and calling the, the, the board. How's it a threat and not a blessing? What do you mean, a threat to what? By him coming home with this. I don't know. I just said, man, people are nuts. So, once again, it wasn't a white lady. It was a black lady. A threat? A threat. I have no clue. Man. Shrimp and butter? Shrimp, butter, chicken? Is a threat. It's a threat. To the black community. See you promoting diabetes. No, you promote motherfucking and help. High blood mother. pressure to the children during the pandemic by feeding them fried chicken and shrimp and fries. What they say this is, is a uh, threat. How dare you be helping them? How dare you how to help each other? Feed like, these children as eating fruit, snacks, and nothing. How dare you show us how to help each other as black people? <laughs> you know you fucking our society. Oh up? my god! If we all start helping each other. We'll do. I'm how? <laughs> like Jamey, he That's sat nice. right there and he said he gave a great tip. But this tip is literally only designated to, and this is leading me to a whole nother thought. I don't want to get off track, but I want to come back to it. Hope I could put a pin in it. He said that right now, for those who are able, let this be a time where you develop for the first time, maybe in your bloodline, a sense of community investment where you get your, your government check, your stimulus check, 1200 six, whatever the amount is, and five of y'all come together and put them checks together. Maybe you got $10,000 or whatever it is. And you invested in it's something so, it that good. could be a property and give you money or be something to, that, that you can hold on to and work with. Leverage. We don't know how to create leverage we don't have, as a we community. Don't know how we to, just know how to use it. We each don't know other. how to keep the money in the community. That's leverage. So here's and that and that leads me to the other point I just thought about because everybody want to talk about the low income person, the person who really is at the bottom of the economy, the fucking hundred percent consumer, where these this person ain't producing, creating, making shit. They mm -hmm. have to go out and buy shit. If they can't buy shit, they need people to give it to them. Okay. These people is the majority. They go out to the food, to the seafood place. Mm -hmm. They go out to the rib cage. They go out to to the comedy shows. They go out and buy movies. They go to the movies. They go to amusement parks. These people are spending their hard on money to to be entertained because their life is miserable. This is the base of the economy, right? But let's say the small business owners who's hurting right now, black business owners. When all the people in the community patronize their business, how many of them small business owners do you see, instead of reinvesting that money in the community, going to the fucking Chinaman to get their fucking hair supply for cheap mm -hmm. for their hair store? Mm -hmm. They're not reinvesting that shit. Or they buying Gucci. They buying mm -hmm. all the fucking name brand shit. They buying the fucking Bentley, the Tesla. They buying all these fucking cars to come back in the hood and shit on the people that's... Right. patronizing their business so in my mind the small the black small business owners is the ones who need to fucking create the example of spreading the money back into the community right because but, once you get on as a black man typically right. you want to show say, that you on. right now i say a lot of problems with the black uh, do and then dollars the come out. from is that <clears throat> when a when a dude gets support for the community they make money they go take their money elsewhere. Thank you. They ain't gonna come back to the little small shop and spend no money. They're not going to the black corner store. Right. They go start the feeling like a part of that rich community. Now I'm from all the white what the white people do. I'm gonna get my yep. my white stuff going on now. But you forgot people who helped you talking about oh, I don't fuck with broke niggas, fuck broke niggas, but you used to be a broke nigga. And the community supported you to get where you was going. Now you don't come put none of that back. It's like I, I ain't gonna say no names. Just, I ain't gonna say no name. I got a real problem with one of these people from Cleveland right now that does that. As a prime example of like, but I don't like why I can't support you and won't ever support you because you always talking about self, 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 and who need to fuck with you. But I don't see you 
see you in no wife's picture and no personal business doing nothing personal back, but you want to take pictures when somebody do something for your shit only, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, the best of problem black dollars that once you make the dollar, you still just go sit in that shell. You're a community motherfucker until you get rich. You know what I'm saying? Then you forget all about the community because now you bought your house way the fuck out there. Doing some way the fuck out there shit supporting all these white businesses so they can now you're too good to come on the fuck back. Or you a community person when it becomes a hashtag movement. Right, I'm saying right. Or or something that you can piggyback a gloat and make a profit off of. Like they're okay, like giving up turkeys and shit to your meaning like once a motherfucking year, they ain't motherfucking shit. I don't care how people look at it. Now yeah, that's some kiss shit that Frank ass. Lucas did. Now you want to look like like you right, Frank Lucas right. kiss my ass look what I'm doing to spread love right. on the so holiday. This, this, kiss my ass. I just, had, yeah. I just had this thing with the comedian, my buddy. I said the turkeys, but niggas hungry every day. Every motherfucking day. I said the the the, the um back to school supplies, pencils go dull. Ink pens lose their ink. Right, she so just one shot shot, bye, boom, yeah. that's it. Um, um, I said with that, you know, as far as with the food, like this is a everyday thing. When you looked at Martin, when they say, man, we stood by each other back in the day, you know why? Because I needed you. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I need your rally mm-hmm. so my my wife don't get raped this time or this and that. But soon as we got our bread, go. I don't need you no more. Go. Then they tell you, Stop struggle crying. ain't real no more. It right. ain't that bad. Because I've been in East Cleveland. It don't look that bad. East Cleveland looked totally different from 3 p.m. to 3 a.m. Mm-hmm. It's convenient for you to be this guy. But when you get to work, you the most coolest hunky it is. Now, I'm not saying you can't talk like we talking now, but don't lose your black walk. Mm-hmm. Don't Your speech is totally different. Right. Hell yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. No, it's easy oh. to switch up how you how you really are. Your walk, your white walk change, man. Right. Totally it's different. Different. You laughing at jokes that you know ain't funny. <laughs> right. You feel me? That force Shit, laughter. a white guy came in the restaurant yesterday. I was up there. He was like, um, oh, "I was good to see you again." I was like, "Man, it's good to see you." He was like, "Oh man, me and my wife, we got a checklist of the, uh, the our favorite restaurants in the community, and we want to make sure we stay in business by supporting somehow." We said, "Hey, my family, all my friends, we make sure we do. We got you guys here. You're number one, actually." And then it goes to the here, then to the there, then there. And I'm like, "And you're a white guy. You know I'm black owned." You made me number one on your priority list. You got Aladdin's on there and shit like that, too. You right next door to the fucking establishment. And this motherfucker was like, me and my wife, we told our whole family to make sure we keep you in business. So when it's all pandemic open up, I mean, uh, opens back up, you guys are still here so we can still come here and eat. I, That's love. This is an older white guy telling me this. You think any niggas I know put a check on my shit? And make sure I see me. They don't give a fuck. You Nigga, know, I got, you know I be in that I, motherfucker, I know, boy. I, you I know, know what be the, there. You know, know what we do. Be there, but they got the ones like this. Look, look through the window right past you. I hope that they gonna shut down. I know they about to shut down. We about to be fucked up in a minute. Nah. We about to be fucked up in a minute. Nah, but you got nah, those. You ain't finna be fucked up out here. Oh no, sir. No, sir. It's inevitable. Yeah. When your product gonna speak for itself. So I tell you all the time. Yeah. It's nothing. And I mean, your product, not to not to toot your own horn or nothing like that. Shout out to the rib cage, smokehouse, and grill. But this nigga shit has improved yes, year after yes, year. I like, appreciate that. Some people like they be like, all right, we got our shit straight now. Nah, this nigga has. Not him personally, but right oh, as, a, have, as a company, as a family it's and a, a company, they found their mm-hmm. way quality. to right. get better. Yeah. Which and yeah. and the community yeah. recognized, right? They fuck with us hard, the man. Community you go, recognized. It's, it's, it's gonna be two hours before you get your motherfucking wing. But, but listen, especially if you dine <laughs> in, <laughs> best be <laughs> hot and right. <laughs> Don't you dine in on a Friday? At no, 10 you better PM, not come down. No, 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 no. After ten, you might be good. But it should be hey, hey, look, six, look, six to ten. <laughs> right, every time somebody play, come up the whole restaurant like this. <laughs> Don't let be hot outside too. It's like, warm outside. Everybody out. Oh shit! Bring well, one plate outside. How the fuck they get their food <laughs> first? <laughs> how many with them? How many people right. they got with them? It takes <laughs> ten minutes for a hunky wing. Ten hours for a nigga wing. Hey, hey, that's how niggas beat though. That's how niggas beat though. I swear to God. I swear to God. Look, like, like, they, 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 they see you. Look, niggas be here. Look, niggas see your whole damn machines blowing up. Phone ring, you going like this, you juggling machines, take your orders, niggas walking in, everywhere's 20 niggas staring at you hungry, and they're just like, man, I just wanted some wings, it's been 15 minutes. You get your seven piece the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? I got over a hundred two dollars on this goddamn thing well, right here. What he right? means though is your seven piece is important too. It's important, but you got to wait your ass up a motherfucking minute. This ain't no fast food restaurant, how motherfucker. Look, hey, how they look at the food? The, <laughs> the whole restaurant just stopped. Like, let, let the bill go bing. It's like, Everybody at the same right. time. What's up? 
I had that. I had two. I had some ribs too. <laughs> we are the rib cage. Everybody got ribs, nigga. <laughs> like I'm gonna be a vegan, <laughs> right? <laughs> this is like a I, I love my cousin because that's, that's how good they make me feel, though. Like sometimes it's embarrassing, but sometimes like, damn, they like my food that much, nigga. They can't wait. Nah, you know what I'm man. saying? But so we try to get better. We're getting faster, but you can't rush good I, shit, man. So, look, I'm, I'm down. On <laughs> it's quality. It's quality. It's quality. Quality. It's quality. quality. It's quality. It's quality. And convenience okay. is what you pay for. And I turned into wing, and this was the first time the nigga wing cop. So I turned into shit. She didn't turn my order. She started like dancing. No, bitch. Turn my shit. Right. It's already ten hours. <laughs> Don't twerk before you put my order in. Right, you see my post. I said I need workers, Hungry not twerkers. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey no, this no, my no. song. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> bitch is called a seizure in the middle of your order. Bitch, hey. <laughs> 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 split seizure in and put my wings in. <laughs> You can't twerk and walk. Bitch. Right. Yeah. Supposed to be talented, <laughs> bitch. Oh my god. Uh, that's why I don't go to hood spots. Shit crazy, but yeah, man, great food. Great, yeah, appreciate great that, food, appreciate man. Appreciate this has that, been a, uh, hopefully a great episode of J Mac Show. We're gonna yeah. wrap this shit up. Give back, give back, give back. Make sure y'all stay safe. Make sure y'all support those who need support. Don't be selfish. Yeah, Learn something, man. Yeah, something. During this time of quarantine and chill. Look, right there. Absolutely. Whatever you, whatever you've been saying that you can't do because you ain't got enough time. Speak. Do it. Write that book. Speak on that shit. Man, that man, that 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 separation you got with some type of family member, it ain't that deep. Clean that fucking house. That Talk you've about been saying. Excuse my house. No. Right, you. right, bitch. Look, Quarantine do and it, clean. Do it right. <laughs> Now, shit. get your gas. Do Take it now, Take advantage Lord. of these low-ass gas, gas prices. prices right. When it's going to go up, that shit going to be nine Five, right. Down. Do it now, Lord. Do it now. Won't he do it? Do, do it, it now. now. Will he do it? That's the message of the day. Do it now. Will you do it? Time waits for no man. And right now, you got a lot of time. Good fellas. No excuses. <laughs> Barbecue. And with that said, we out yes. here. We'll see y'all next week. Peace. Doses.